on the game beaver welcome back to another episode of opening things and today we're doing the mystery packs isn't that right it is indeed so oh my god sunlight eh it's so bright <laughs> so these are the mystery packs um you can get these in england actually um I think they're like a Walmart exclusive in America and stuff. Basically, when I saw these, the artwork doesn't look Jurassic Worldy. It sort of reminds me of just something I would find if I search dinosaurs on the internet. Um, it's not, to me, it's not Jurassic World. It's just general dinosaur picture. Um, and if we compare it to things we've had in the past, because what we get inside these, our little dinosaurs. Um, in the past, in Jurassic Park, we had eggs, but you got a little dinosaur and some candy. In The Lost World, they did exactly the same. I remember those. I have one of them somewhere. And in Jurassic Park 3, they did more eggs, and I've got something better to show you. This is what happens when you badger a corner shop for years as a kid to get them in. This is a Jurassic Park 3 Tops Eggs. Now inside here you get a cool little um, little dinosaur as well as some old, well very old candy now, as you would call it in America. We call it sweets. But uh, you could always like sort of pinch the top and see what you would get in it. Um, so this is the equivalent. These are the same. These two, these two things right here are the same. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the egg. And this isn't the best egg either. Uh, I think the Lost World and Jurassic Park eggs were actually better. Um, I think Lost World you got um, skeletons, which were a little bit fiddly to put together, but they glowed in the dark. Um, so, so I do also have some of these out of the packaging, um, which I'll show you in comparison to what these are. But we're not doing that. First, we're going to open some of these packets. Actually, you know what? We'll open all of them. Well, shall we? Let's open all of them. Right, so easy easy strip, I will say that's nice. I uh, don't know why they didn't go with eggs. Eggs, uh, there was nothing wrong with eggs. They've done eggs for all three of them. They would be cool if they had the little barcode on them like this. Just use this and put the barcode from the movie. No? Okay then, cheapy little packet. So what do we have? We have a square of plastic? Okay, I can already tell it's a Spinosaur. Did we get anything else inside? No, that's it? Just a square of plastic, I'm guessing, and uh, more of this horrible elasticy tape that we got with the brawler souls. Um, and I'm about to get this guy out, and there it is. This is what you get in the toys, in the packets. Um, and I will compare this to the ones you got in Jurassic Park 3, just to give you an idea. There we go, beautiful. So this is the Spinosaur. Now you might notice something very familiar about it. This is the... Um, I don't know what it's called, the Biter Set? I think that's what they are. Um, but it's just a scaled down model, like a scaled down version of it. Um, and what they've done is change it slightly, put by put the big JW logo on the mold, and put one single color of plastic in it. And then lickety split, put one splashing of paint on it. Um, I mean, this could just be one. It's not too great. It even, it even has a blooming, like not that the thing is bad enough, but it's got like a barcode with numbers right next to the tail. What's with that? I just want to play with the dinosaur. I don't want, like, I mean, yeah, they always had the underneath bit made in China, Hasbro, but why, why the little B1570? Okay, let's open more. Oh, we get a little, what's this? What's this? What is this? Oops, I've torn it. Okay. Do you want to know what all this says? This long bit of paper that came with it. It says, Warning, choking hazard. Small parts, not for children under three years old. And then it says it in every language under the goddamn sun. Does this need to be in there? Are you serious? We've got it in... German, uh, 
E, whatever, P, I, N, L, S, D, K, N, oh, we've got it in Donkey Kong language, F, Finn, G, R, P, L, H, T, R, C, Z, S, K, R, O, R, U, B, G, H, R, L, T, S, L, O, and U, K, R. I mean, that's great. That's really good that they've put it in all the languages. On the back is a Hasbro all rights reserved, and yet again, in every goddamn language. Um, why? Why is this part of it? I just want the diamond. This has taken the place of the sweets you would get inside them. And this is in every, every single product you buy from Hasbro Jurassic World. A little bit of paper that says, this is our product. I don't understand why. What? Look how big this is. Like, I, I can understand the little triangle, the protective triangle. Get it? Making it safe. Try not to bend the product, what product there is. I know, I'm going off on a tangent. It's just a bit of paper. But is it really? This is almost, th this is laziness. Do you know why? You might be thinking, no, it's not laziness. They, they've printed this off just to cover their asses in any other language, just so no child chokes on it and doesn't sue them. And by putting this in, wasting valuable paper and ink, um, well, not valuable, but just wasting it, to just have it in every other language. Oh, I forgot AR. There is Arabic at the bottom, which goes from right to left. I didn't know that that happened. Does Arabic go right to left? That's something new to me. Um, so each one of these is going to have this paper on it. Um, not what I had in mind when I thought, yes, Jurassic World, I can't wait for the toys. A bit of plastic that is one single color and a tiny paint job of a single color. Let's just hope the rest of them aren't like this. Okay. Next one. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, this one doesn't come in a little thing, a protective thing. This is a stegosaur. Interesting. Not bad. We haven't seen this model. So this is, um, I don't, I can't imagine this being a model. I can't imagine this being a toy. I think it's nice because it looks very like the Lost World model. Uh, sorry, uh, stegosaurus. I'm saying I'm stuck on model. It's got a black eye. It actually has a different color paint on its eye. It is, again, just a simple brown. The spikes don't look like spikes. They look like a toothbrush bristle, not even that. They're really bulky, not spiky at all. Um, I'm guessing that's what happens when you work with a very small mold. You can't get the detail. And um, they've painted all of the spikes. I will say the paint job on the spikes isn't that bad. Um, there is just a little bit at the end here where you can see the spikes have, it's missed some of the spikes, that's all. That's not too bad. Um, so the Spinosaur, does it stand? It does! It does stand! Okay, I'm quite impressed with that. That's very good. Okay, again, another right folded up a million times. Let's open... We'll open five more. We'll open five more. See what we get. Oh, it's a T-Rex! Ow! Ah, that last... Okay, I'm suing because this... This little elastic band flicked me in the eye when I pulled it out. Okay, right, let's look at the T-Rex. <laughs> there it is! Looking not so bad, actually. It looks... This T-Rex, strangely enough, Looks better than the T-Rex you get with the uh, shaky head and stuff. Um, a brown, again, with a weird number on its backside. I don't know why it has that. And the underneath is the other paint. Um, not bad. The detail's pretty nice on it. It, however, does not stand on its own. The Spinosaur does, the T-Rex does not. Why does nobody test these things to see if they stand? God, what are you? Ooh, wow. Dimorphodon! Looks pretty cool! Let's have a look at that! See, if something looks cool, I will tell you it looks cool! I'm not here to slate Hasbro! Um, I'm just a kid who's disappointed! So we have multiple paints on this! We have a nice mold um, on the underside. There is nothing on the other side, fair dues. But we have a black and a blue and... That's it, actually. I thought, I th for some reason, I picked up three or four paints. We have a black and a blue. The head is completely painted. It's not bad. I will say I've seen worse. I've seen worse. This isn't too bad. You know, I'm not gonna complain about that. That's all right, that's okay. 
I can live with that one. Oh, we have a Pteranodon! We have a Pteranodon this time. Okay, the Pteranodon's not as good. Yeah, it's really not as good. Um, the model itself isn't too bad, but the only paint job is on its head. Green paint and black eyes, that's it. And then on the underneath, you get like seams on the wing, so you can see exactly where the, uh, like, you see that line there? I think you can see if I get it right. There's another one there. There's a line there where they, the mold has obviously had a seam and it's seeped through a tiny bit. And on the side, on the underneath of the wing, there is again the code with a lot of blah, blah, blah. But that's to be expected. All right, more. Ooh, I finally got one. I mean, this hasn't came out in the UK yet. The uh, Pachycephalosaurus little hit basher thing. The same as the Allosaur, that's not out yet. The second wave. Um, but this is a Pachycephalosaurus. It's not bad. It's not bad. I will say it's not bad. It's got nice, nice colors. Very brown. We get lots of brown things. Um, I do think it's random. I think they just have random uh, paint. It's got red. It's got a red paint on it and yellow eyes. Not bad. I still prefer the Pachycephalosaurus you get in the Lost World. I do have that in the attic somewhere. Um, there was a little version that you get with the um, the uh, the men or the the action figures, basically. The humans, that's right, the humans. You used to get like a little piece like this. And he does not stand either. <sighs> oh, right, okay. This is gonna be the raptor model they've chosen to do all the raptors in, I'm imagining. And it's not bad, but it's not good. It's just a gray raptor with a slightly less gray paint. I will say it's quite nice that you get these variations. I uh, got a little pink tongue, but the white paint is over its eyeball. They couldn't have painted its eyeball a different color. And yes, I know it's went through factory production and there's gonna be errors and they're not gonna be asked, but come on, not even just a little bit of paint on the eye. It's just, it's got no soul without an eye. All right, next one. Ooh. Oh, we have the Mosasaur. I finally got it. The Mosasaur. Oh, how long has it taken me? I, I, it's been months since I've seen the film. Well, not that long, but you know what I mean. And I, I have not got a Mosasaur. Not model, not nothing. And this is the first Mosasaur I get. And it's a cheap little tacky little bit. It has, I will say the most paint variety of anything that has came out. It has the base uh, plastic with a little orange and then a blue and a black. And that's it. That's all it gets. And it stands at least. But again, this is a modeled, uh, sorry, scaled down version of the actual thing itself, which has not yet been released on in the UK and is going for ridiculous prices on the internet. Oh, wow, Triceratops. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's bulky. It feels like an actual model instead of one of these thin, flimsy things. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how tanky he is. Arrgh. You lift, bro? This guy does. Wow, this looks awesome. Look how thick that is. That's a toy I can actually feel the weight of for once. Um, because it's just solid plastic. Again, brown with darker brown and yellow eyes. But not bad. Um, I don't think, like the Stegosaur, I don't think this is a model that we're actually going to see a toy of. It looks very generic. It doesn't look like it could be posed. Um, looks a bit sad actually. Have you seen its face? It looks really sad. It's got like an upside down mouth. Mm. Oh, we have another raptor. We have like Charlie. Eh. Yeah, look at that. That looks good. Green with brown. You can make your own raptor. Nah. But that's because I've gotten used to how bad these are when they shouldn't be bad at all. Oh, another Dimorphodon. Um, ooh, a nicer one actually. This one's not bad. That's a nice Dimorphodon. Not bad at all. But just a pass. I'm not giving you credit for anything good. Because I'm going to get so many little terms of condition papers and that's an instant fail. Why in each pack? God. They really don't want to get sued. We have a green T-Rex. A green T-Rex. That's not bad. Again, on the underside, it looks like they all have the similar paint. So if it's a T-Rex, it will be a single colour of plastic and then underside done eh, not bad can't complain last two and i don't know how much these cost again it's, i know they're over a pound 
I don't think they're worth it, if I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it's oh, Jesus, look at this guy. He's huge. It's a huge ankylosaur, and it's red. I like it. I like it. Do more of this, Hasbro. Oh, look how big that is. Look, compared to the tanky Triceratops, look at the thickness. Look at the difference. Wow, that is nice. That's that's a toy. If we just like compare how thin most of the toys are, Stegosaur and Kylosaur. Um, Pachycephalosaurus, thin, and Kylosaur. Yes, I know it's it's supposed to be broad, but that feels like a toy. Again, it's an altered version of the actual uh, Ankylosaur basher we have. It's tail's a little bit lower. As you can see, it's not high up. But that actually looks nice. I, I mean, I don't know if red's the right color. It looks, it stands out. I quite like how bright it is. It's red, my favorite color. And the final one, I'm hoping for Indominus. I don't think we're gonna get it. I think Indominus is one of the rare ones you get and you have to buy the full set of them to get it, um, which is a terrible mark employ. And it is, Oh, it's an Allosaur! And it's an- Oh, that's a cool looking Allosaur. Okay, that's a cool Allosaur. Look at it. Beautiful. Red, black on top, and yellow underneath. That's a nice looking Allosaur. Give you credit. Probably the best one alongside the Ankylosaur, I'm gonna say. Right, let's uh, get to reviewing this, shall we? Oh, the T-Rex actually stands. No way! The T-Rex stands? I think we've found something truly amazing. A T-Rex that stands. So, this. The mystery pack. Is it good? Is it worth your money? Should you feel bad about it or good about it? Well, the only way to do this is to have a look at the past. Let's see what happened. Like, where did this come from? Now, if we go back not too long ago, we had these. The Jurassic Park 3 eggs. I talked about it just at the start. Um, they had candies inside, which is awesome. These do not, so already a one-up on this rubbish. Um, and the models inside were better. Actually, even just talking about the models, um, these are the um, Lost World toys you'd get with the action figure humans. So they were usually baby versions of things. This was the one that came with Sarah Harding. This is the baby Stegosaur. Now, from what I remember, Sarah Harding was quite a rare one to get. Um, you'd get that. There was even um, like little pteranodons you would get. And they are way better than these. Way better. Just look at the paint job on them, the model on them. They're just, they're cute. They're little babies. They look so much better than these. Now, I know what you might be saying. You might be saying, well, this, that's not the same. You can't compare something that is actually part of an action figure. Like this baby Triceratops that came with Nick Van Owen, I think. Actually, I think the Pteranodon did. I don't know who came this ter baby Triceratops came with. You can't compare that to these. You're right. You're very right. So, let's compare the Jurassic Park 3 toys that came in them. Spinosaurus. Look how good that is. It's standing on mud. The model's pretty awesome. T-Rex. Look at that. All different paint jobs. Cool stance. Awesome. Velociraptor, male. Pretty good, right? Look at that paint job. Not bad for a little thing, a little egg. You get the egg as well. The egg's awesome to have as a figure. The female raptor. Look! Look, Spinosaur actually fainted there. Spino I didn't see it, but Spinosaur fell over. The female raptor. We're not even done. We're not even done. There's so many more. Parasaurolophus. Look at that. Yes, they did all come in the same sort of colors, which they could have benefited from, actually. If these Just Park 3 toys had came in different colors, then they, they would have been even better. Triceratops. Look at it. It looks so cool. It's got, like, blue on the back. Underneath is whitey. Oh, it looks... It's Brachiosaurus. Like, that famous Brachiosaurus scene from Jurassic Park. You can recreate. Look at that. It's basically the same. The coloring's beautiful. Nice green, dark green spots. Not humongous red. Um, the Ankylosaur from this. The Ankylosaur from Jurassic Park 3. Green, I mean, it's very green. I don't know, I might actually prefer the one from Jurassic, this one, Jurassic World. I might prefer that one, actually. Um, Pachycephalosaurus. Now let's compare the Pachycephalosauruses. Look at that. Now, which one looks like it's got more love and effort into it? This one. Look at that skinny little thin model. 
It's awesome, this one. The Pteranodon. I mean, they, they didn't do too well with this. They made it look like a baby Pteranodon, which is fine. That's completely fine. But this, they just scaled down a, an adult. I don't know which one I prefer, actually. Jurassic World, the whole toy line, everything has been so underwhelming. And I'm being completely serious about this. It has just been so, so disappointing. Coming from me, I grew up with the toys from Jurassic Park. The, the cup holders, the flipping everything they had. Jura the Lost World, you had in your cereal. You didn't have to send off for things. You've got holographic like raptor things that moved. This was just in a packet. It was in the bloody cereal. No health and safety. None of our bollocks. Even in crisp packets. You got like things to collect. This one is the um I don't see it. This is a Tyrannosaurus. And you pop it. And there it is. That stands on the table. That was just so awesome. Yes, they did break after a while, as this one has. It's completely shattered. But it was a point in time that was a golden age where anywhere you'd go, you'd find Jurassic Park stuff, Lost World stuff, Chris Packets, cereals, in, in the counter, like waiting for checkout, eggs, and the Lost World? Sorry, Jurassic World? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All the Brawlosaurs that I've got, I had to buy them online. I, I didn't walk into a shop and go, oh, look at that, that's awesome. Because I do that now, and I find minions everywhere. Hundreds, thousands of minions. I go to the section that has Jurassic World, nothing. Things that have been out for months. And there is no Chris Pratt action figure with a gun, or some sort of little baby raptor. A baby blue? Come on, that sells itself, Hasbro. Wake up. What about Claire? With... A baby Indominus! That's awesome! Where's that? It's not there. Where's the egg with the barcode we saw in the trailer in the movie that was hyped? There's these barcode branded eggs. Nah, go on eBay right now. Try to find Jurassic Park 3 eggs. In fact, I saw the Lost World version that had twisty bottoms. I remember those that had the skeletons. It sold for £20 and it was like 50 of them. You can't get 50 of these for £20. Don't buy this. This is awful. I don't get angry. I don't swear in my videos. I don't do anything like that because there is no reason for me to swear. I play Jurassic World. People love me for family friendly content. That's because there's no reason for me to get angry. But I'm hurt that I got so excited for Jurassic World and got this crudely painted little toys. Things that aren't even out in England that I can't get. I can't go to a toy store and feel excited because I know I'm going to get the same things over and over. If you want to buy something you want, you've got to go on the internet and even then you're getting scalped by scalpers who basically buy out the entire product line and sell them for incredible prices online. The Mosasaur online is going for like a hundred quid. It's, no, it's not even that good, but it's being scalped. I went in my attic just to find these little gems that I've got and I've got loads more. Like coins, Tetley tea bags. Blumen making a cup of tea. He is a pound. He's like a big bronze coin with a Velociraptor on it. You have cereal. Yeah, get that. You open a packet of crisps. Yeah, get these. What do you get with? Like I walked down a toy, sorry, a sweet section, and I saw minion branded like sucky pop things. Nothing Jurassic World. Nothing. But minions are bloody everywhere. And I don't know what happened. Did they not think that Jurassic World was going to be a success? Is that it? Did they think it was going to be a flop and they didn't put any bloody money in advertising? Because that's... Bollocks. Jurassic Park is one of the top three franchises of all time. And Jurassic World has helped it. I hope this isn't all we get. I do hope that all of a sudden we get bloods of stuff. But there is things online saying that Hasbro has realised what a cock up they've done and are taking back everything they're taking back the terrible jaw on the t-rex they're taking back the broken mechanism in the stomper t-rex the indominus that can't even stand up normal it has to be facing like that or facing down on the ground it can't be just a normal dinosaur looking forward attacking its prey there is no people there is not no action figures to capture the dinosaurs you are just playing indominus rex chases a tiny little army man and a little scuba diving man. 
and a, a pilot. That's it. That's your... What? Do they expect you to play with... Yes, other things, other toys, other army men and stuff like that. But... Who doesn't want a Chris Pratt riding a motorcycle with raptors? Who doesn't want that? Lego put in love, Lego put in effort, but not Jurassic World. Sorry, Hasbro, whoever. The only toys that I've actually had real fun playing was the Indominus um, playset with the uh, gyrosphere that fired at it, and that's being called back now. Probably due to safety reasons, because it fires out ridiculously fast, which is awesome. Look at look at the back of this packet, for instance. Look at that. You get nice art artwork. I guess that's nice. Look at the back. Warning in every goddamn language. How ugly is that? That is. It's like if you look at the egg. Look at look at this. That's awesome. You see the Jurassic Park 3 logo. Put put the Jurassic World logo on that. Make the egg have the barcode. And then on the back, just have that. Have this. Have a little wiggly dangly. Have a little dingle dangle. That inside it, people, if they want to, can read it. Not a bloomin' A4 bit of paper. I know I'm going probably way over the top on this. But guys, the, the people that grew up with what I grew up. With this stuff. And this Jurassic Park 3 wasn't the best of toys. They, they didn't half do as much as they used to. Like, tops were awesome for this sort of thing. They really put love and effort in. But Hasbro had license on literally everything and didn't let any sort of brand go near. Kenner bought it out, fired the Kenner staff. Tops, nah, didn't let them do anything with it. I am absolutely lost. I want to be excited for more Jurassic World toys. Lego got it right. I love doing the Lego stuff. I love doing the videos. I love putting it together, speed montaging it, editing it. I actually had fun. There was characters and stuff in there. But Lego was never half as fun as the actual toys, the real things that look like from the movie. And here we go with Alasaur, like that looks good, but is, is this what I'm saying is good? Are toys dead? Is every kid on the internet playing the app game and not playing with actual toys? Because I have a cousin and I went over to visit him. And yes, we, I showed him Jurassic Park Builder, and he loved it. He loved Jurassic Park Builder, because Jurassic World wasn't out at the time. He loved doing, like, attack block and all that stuff. But then, when I got some dinosaur toys, he was recreating the fights, going, attack, rah! And it was awesome, because in his mind, he could see them moving. But we don't have that anymore. Like, Brawlosaurs are perfect for that reason. You can take the game there and have them fight. Like, it's a battle arena. It works so well like that. But this... <laughs> They've missed their chance. They've missed it. The, the boat has sailed. Jurassic World is coming down now. It's off the hype. It's been. It's coming off the cinemas. People aren't watching it anymore. The toys are past their prime peak. I, I saw one kid today wear a Jurassic World top, and that's the first kid I've ever seen wear a Jurassic World top because they don't sell them. Primark are having to make them because there is no actual thing out there. There is no brand. There is no merchandise. Yes, if you go to Universal Studio, they're going to have it there, but of course they're going to have it there. It's not actually in the shops. It's not online. It's on the line. You can buy it online, but it's not... The shopping experience is dead because everything that I want, I have to buy on eBay for ridiculous amounts and then ship it to me, which is even more weight and money. Am I am I being over, overly critical? Is it too... Is it... Am I... What, is it too much to ask to have toys in the shop that I want? Or even any toys? Because there is no toys. There's none. What? There is just the Wave 1 stuff, which is like 12 different things. And that's it. I don't really want the, the biting hand puppets. I don't want the raptor claw hands. That's fine. How little kids have those? But I'm, I'm a little kid in at heart. And just because I'm not going to run around chasing my mum with, with a raptor, which I could do. Guys, if you want good dinosaur toys, go on the internet. Look at Jurassic Park toys. Get Dennis Nedry. Get Alan Grant. Get Sarah Harding. Get the dinosaurs you want. Don't get these. I don't feel like, oh, I, that looks awesome. I just like, that's cool. I quite like it. I don't love it. I don't like, yeah, that's awesome. I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. It's average. The meter should be here and it's there. It's dwindling above okay. And I shouldn't be going, oh yeah, that's okay. I shouldn't be doing that. I should be, that's awesome. 
I can't wait to just have that on display or to do some or to see a kid play with it. I'm just like, meh. Yeah, it's okay. That's awful. So I'm going to end this video. Um, what can I say? I thought there was just a lot of missed opportunities. That's basically it. So if you enjoyed this video and you feel the same way as me, like the video, please. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. I'm going to go play with my old toys. Brachycephalosaurus with a brachiosaur. Yeah!